Hello, this is Mrs. Priest, and I'm coming in to tell you a little bit about the ebooks that are available for you through both Gale Board and Library and through our library. Um, just so you know, even if you don't have a Gale Board and Library card, they're offering free online libra library cards right now. Um, this is the website right here. And I will send that out in email along with this video. And all you have to do is fill out the library card registration form. Everything that is starred is required. You want to pick up probably from the main library. Even though everything's closed, you're not going to pick anything up right now. They want you to they want to know where you would pick something up from if you could. Your name your address and your city. You must live in Elgin in order to get a Gale Borden Library card. You have to include your phone number. They do that so that if you have anything that they need to contact you about, they can send you a phone number and you must include your email because that's what's going to set your um, that's what they're going to use to communicate to you about due dates and give you your barcode and everything that you need to sign in to the e-resources that they have, including databases. Um, your guardian name must be added here. So guardian would be a parent or an older sibling, anyone over the age of 18 who can make sure that you are using the library appropriately. And this is a four-digit pin. You need you need to put in a four-digit pin in order to access the e-resources. Um, make sure it's something that you can remember because it's really difficult to change. Um, something like an address um, or someone's a pet's birthday or some four-digit number that you will be remember easily. And then you push submit. Fortunately, I don't live in the Gale Borden District, so I can't fill this out and show you how to do it. But you should be able to fill this out, and then they will email you a barcode. Once you get that, you can... Um, go to the Gail Borden e-library site. So what I did was I typed in gailborden.info. Let's get rid of this. And I I know that I can't search the catalog for inform for books that are on the shelves because I can't go get them. But if I go to Books and More, I can go to 24-7 e-library. And then it has all kinds of resources available here. And the one that I'm going to show you today is Hoopla. If you have younger children at your house, I highly recommend Tumblebook. We also have Tumblebooks through the district, so let me know if you need that um, URL. They have ebooks and magazines. So if you're looking for something to read, you're really bored, you can look through some magazines on your Chromebook. That's kind of an awesome feature of the um, public library. So Hoopla is the one I want to show you because it's one of my favorite library resources. It actually has music, television, and audiobooks. And I mostly use it for audiobooks. And since I don't have a Gale Borden card, I have to show you on my library. So Hoopla also has an app. So you can download the Hoopla that you're listening to on your Chromebook. You can also put it on your phone, which is kind of a nice feature. So you download the Hoopla app, you log in with your barcode and the four digit pin that you used, and then you can use Hoopla. There's never a hold on Hoopla. They always are available. So that's the best part about Hoopla. Right now I'm reading, oh, where is my book? Highly illogical. Let's see if they have it. Behavior. Oops, I spelled highly wrong. It is so oh, they don't have it so no results I, I will say that sometimes it's limited but it the nice thing is you're always going to find something available because they don't have a limit on the number of um, the number of ebooks that they give out so it looks like for the fault in our stars they have the ebook for a study guide and then they have music if you want to browse audiobooks, that's a good idea too. You can look by popular, you can look by format, you can look, these are little kid audiobooks. You can look, just see 
what's available for you. So there are some books on here. The Tattoo of Auschwitz is on here. There are some books on here that are for adults. So you need to know like what is your reading level, what is appropriate for you. And if it's not appropriate for you, you can decide to stop listening. That's totally your choice. If you want to have a conversation about something that you've read that you were confused about or you had questions about, please feel free to send me an email. Finally, I wanted to remind you that we have ebooks available through the Elgin High School Library. You're going to have to set up your login. Your user, your library card ID is your ID number, and your PIN is your eight digit birthday. I've already logged into this before, so I have, I don't have to answer the question of what school do you go to, but the first time that you log in, you'll have to tell it that you're from Elgin High School. Um, all of the schools in the district have the same books. Um, we have a few extra books that I've purchased for us. Um, the only thing about eRead Illinois that, that or Axis 360, which is the app, A-X-I-S 360, is that a lot of the books are checked out because we share them with other libraries. So when I'm looking for a book, if I want, for example, Hey Kiddo, which won the Odyssey Award in 2020, I might have to put it on hold and it might be a long hold. So, but put it on hold. You never know. You can add it to your wish list. There's only two people on hold for this one. So that's actually not too bad. And you can add it to your wish list and or read it later. You can browse by subject. You can browse by featured lists. I do have a featured list just for teens. And we do have books in Spanish as well. So the nice thing about the list is that you can choose to search only books that are available now. So that way you know that there's something that is actually available and you don't have to put, be put on the hold list. This one's supposed to be a really great book. This 19 Love Songs by David Levithan. I can't wait to read it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. You know how to get a hold of me. My last name is Priest, P-R-I-E-S-T. And I hope you find some wonderful things to read on all of these resources.